Hello guys, this is Teddy Podcast. I want to talk about uh, Conor McGregor uh, quit UFC. I think um, he tweeted out uh, something on Twitter saying that he's going to quit um, UFC. Um, well, um, I don't know on the news whether there's something they are not but Conor McGregor quit UFC um, why why he quit UFC well I don't think he want to go to uh, Pomo uh, and I think Nick JS is retiring and I think he's quitting is retiring from MMA or UFC which is I don't know why uh, you throw something away because he's a like weight champion and there's no uh, way to quit you didn't even lose to to lose your title to anyone yet just a, a period fight with Nick Diaz um, Conor McGregor lost to Nick Diaz in the second round uh, due to uh, submission and I think if you don't go to UFC promo, I think you will affect the pay the view or the UFC fight thing. I think you have to go to interview and all this what the fighter always do. They go to a lot of interviews and they ask questions and you answer them. I think it's very important for fighters to go to interview like what they have been doing what they think about their opponent and all of this I think it's very stupid to quit because I think he has to fight and because he won he lose to Nick Diaz and secondly I think he has to fight DDS again to prove that he can go to welterweight class and if you want to go to welterweight class uh, I think DDS will uh, will be the one who you know be you again because DDS is uh, maybe welterweight I think so and if you want to go welterweight I think there's a lot of person in welterweight class will beat you I think not only DDS will end you, DDS will will kill you in welterweight class. You want to go welterweight? Um, I think Robbie Lawler will beat you and destroy you. And I think that's the point. You have to prove that you are a champion. You have you have to prove something. You know. Um, it's very stupid that uh, Dana or UFC put Conor McGregor to waterweight so fast, and I, they I don't think they expect him to lose so fast, and um, he gained so much weight uh, in just two weeks, and he jumped to waterweight class, and it's too fast, and I can tell you. Even he fight the uh, 
uh, light heavyweight champion or lightweight champion lightweight champion I think lightweight champion the Santos I think the Santos will beat him I will uh, beat Conor McGregor the, that guy is uh, to the beast and there are the guy with no uh, ground game the uh, guy that have no no tactic you just go ahead uh, punch people in the face whatever you like they are too you know uh, too uh, fast judging that person is weak Jose Aldo lost I don't know why because I don't I, I think Jose Aldo think Conor McGregor you know this this and all Conor McGregor is you know, not someone, you know, Jose Aldo think that he can beat Conor McGregor, he's not ready for that and then, um, I think there's too much pressure, you know for him to beat, to put a title against a guy, you know, who have no fear I think that this guy have no fear and I can see that why he beat, beat um with someone like uh, let me see the name. I forget the name already. I think he beat um uh, someone like I I don't remember already. So yeah, I just search for him. <laughs> Oh, Chad Mendes, yeah, he, uh, how, how I can forget Chad Mendes, he beat Chad Mendes, that guy have ground game, you can see he control uh, Conor McGregor on the ground so well, he is so good and, and I can tell you, Conor McGregor is someone which is have no ground game and I watched the uh, fight with him and Chad Mendes. I don't think Conor McGregor is the one who you know will win. Uh, even he go for more striking, uh, will win in a ground game or no? I think his stand is very good. You know, um, his combination of striking is very good. I uh, watched the match; is so great. And Chad Mendes. At first, um, Chad Mendes first two rounds, I think he controlled Conor McGregor so well and on the ground and he hold Conor McGregor, uh, Co Conor McGregor but he didn't finish him but Nick Diaz different, he hold him to the ground he punch him in the face and make Conor McGregor so dizzy and he put him on the ground he go for he punch him two times in the face while on the ground and he went for guillotine and I think that that submission move and Conor McGregor he want to make sure Conor McGregor Conor McGregor don't stand up again and this one perfect uh, example that Conor McGregor will not beat Rafael to Santos because he is I think he's a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu I guess I think so he's someone is good on ground I think so uh, hold on I have to check these his uh, profile. I think he is Jisu because he go from Brazil to, uh, and I think um, uh, Jisu means that he can go for uh, ground takedown and all submission move and I think this guy this guy is crazy and he's striking so crazy and he beat um, and Entity I think so. Uh, how can 
I forget the name again. Holy shit. It's been a long time that I never go for UFC web page. And there's something that when someone beat a champion, you know, someone set up, and then you think this guy, you know, is someone, you know, is funny to make fun of. And I don't think it's very really funny to me to make fun of a champion, you know, that like Conor McGregor, he's a champion. I don't think he should make fun of another champion. I mean, he didn't even put his title on uh, uh, Rafael to Anjos, yeah, and I think he didn't even put his featherweight champion with uh, with him, and he make fun of him. They say he he's a coward. I think so. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. He say he will win the championship from Rafael, and I, I think Rafael is, uh, is somehow right that saying that why he don't put the title on the line with him, you know? He's not the one who put up the champion and that's why you don't feel any, you know, any um, stress. You no, know, I think Daniel White, you no, know, went over, over hate. No, like he's crazy. I mean, he's crazy. You know, this guy is crazy, and then you put him on the waterway, thing that you know somehow he can get through uh, of Nick Diaz. You know, and I think uh, they now I have some problem with uh, Nick Diaz. Uh, that's why I think he put Conor McGregor on on the DS match. I think there's some problem with Conor McGregor and Nick and and uh, Dana White also. I I think the two two does not work well together. If Conor McGregor quit UFC, what we will do? Will he go to WWE? Or will he go to? Whatever it is, I don't think so. I think WWE will upload a video on on uh, on the YouTube channel and saying that will Conor McGregor go to um, WWE. Let me answer this question. I don't think Conor McGregor will ever go to WWE. This stupid. I think mean, this guy won real fight. I think this guy won real fight. He's crazy, you know. He could kill someone on on WWE ring, and why you want a uh, UFC fighter on WWE ring? I think this guy is enough to kill someone on on WWE ring, and you don't know what will happen. This guy is not is not a wrestler. This guy is not trained on wrestling. I I don't think. Um, because UFC is real fighting, you know, you punch me in the face, um, you, you intend to hurt someone, and Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor does not do that, you no, know, I don't think he do that on uh, WWE yet, and I think there's no way he will go WWE without you no know, extra guarantee that he will be you no know, self move and he will you know do some crazy move you know that will to hurt someone but to say Conor McGregor go WWE is unlikely happening I don't think Conor McGregor will go WWE and WWE WWE will not accept until he go for professional training wrestling training i think you have to go through that i think every every everyone has to go through that like Simone, joe like like um the new superstar called nakamura right now he go nxt i think you have to go wwe training center if 
if you want to go WWE because you know you are welcome to go and when Ronda Rousey say she want to go WWE and they say you have to go to uh, we welcome you to WWE training center that means you have to go through some training first you know they have to guarantee that you uh, you you know some move on on basic move or something you no know, you have to get some training before you go into the WWE WWE ring and that's that's why I think Conor McGregor would, would not want to go so much trouble go through so much trouble he I don't think he's a guy who want to go through so much trouble um, and just and just going to train you know he, he don't like that he really, he already don't like to go promo he already don't like to do what uh, Dania White has been telling him to do and I think WWE will be a bad place for Conor McGregor because uh, Vince will want people to listen to, to the storyline and uh, you have to follow certain thing on 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 the script or something like that uh, and also I think this man is crazy this man asked more for more title and you know suddenly he say ah, I don't want to fight anymore I want to quit I want to walk out he guarantee that uh, in January I think he guarantee everyone that he will fight he will bust his ass he will, uh, he will go every fight I, 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 I watched that and I heard all of that and I think by by means that that will, that that will be mean that you will go more interviews this this what w, uh, WWE UFC do and WWE did it too I think they go to interview promotion all of this you have to go through a lot of things and even WWE um, go for maybe one or two or maybe three I don't know promotion interview or something like that but every uh, every month there's something new you know every month there's some event going on unlike uh, UFC I think two to three weeks I guess uh, I think uh, or maybe a month to go to another UFC fight uh, uh, UFC event big event you know and the most crazy stuff I uh, think that uh, UFC 200 is at July so uh, as you can see it's almost a month you know almost a month to wait to to that review and maybe not every time is you, you know every time it will change like uh, light, uh, lightweight champion and heavyweight champion and then uh, middleweight champion and all of this uh, every every time the same and the percentage that you will go for interview is unlikely uh, uh, unlikely high I don't think you will go more interview I think because uh, if you are a champion champion of UFC yes you have to go a lot of interview but then after that I don't think you will go more interview maybe you'll go for a radio show or something like that more TV show um, that's what that's a requirement for a UIC fighter and also WWE superstar they have all two of these and every month there's something new for them I think there's more fresh you know like they are not allowed to take off you know like you are a champion you are the united states champion you know you are ready for payback you know you go to payback you wrestler after that the next thing is next one there's uh, extreme rule so now it's extreme rule, right so they are ready for a new promotion there's new opponent for you you have to do this script 
and you have to follow the script you have to go to interview and then you have to go to maybe um, TV show maybe um, tonight you have to go to Stone Cold Steve Often podcast and also a lot of things and I think uh, WWE Superstar have to travel a lot and maybe WWE live event somehow happen you know and then you have to defend your United States champion somehow and maybe lose it and that's what happened on NXT when Finn Balor lost the championship to Samojo and and well I think it's a good idea that you lose the title on uh, uh, not a uh, pay the view or not or uh, TV on TV it's a live show I think he used the title NXT title to Somo Joe on live show and it's a good idea but back to Conor McGregor I think well you have a good career, you know, your career just start, you know, rising up and you just lose one fight. You no, know, I don't think I I will not want uh, a fighter, you know, just quick like that. No, I don't want to go promo. I mean, if, if you don't want to go promo or anything like that, then just, no, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Well, what I will do if I don't want to go promo, but I want to say I want to quit. You no, know, I will still go. You know, all of that. You no, know, still go if I'm a fighter. I will still go. You no, know. it's it's Daniel White. He's your boss, so you have to listen to him. You know, and that's what WWE always tell you do. I mean, WWE want people to do this if you do. You know don't like the idea you can just lose your title do someone else you know we will make uh, another good champion you know that listen to us that just WWE you know um, to me Connor is not a person who want to listen a lot that I don't think if even there's a chance um, I don't think so there's no chance that he will go to WWE to people who say he will go WWE give up your hope because this guy is a guy who don't want to listen to people and I think he will not go WWE to listen to Vince he is an annoying person I think I think so in real life too so if you heard about his his story about the story of Vincent K. McMahon you know that he's an annoying person you know you he want you to listen to him you know you talk about him get the fuck out you know, of my company or maybe kick you out you know of the title shot I mean Dolph Ziggler tweet something bad about about him or something bad about WWE I don't know or something bad and Vince just kicked him out of World, Heavy, World Heavyweight Champion image, I think so. And also, he banned someone for for just making fun of him. I don't know. I watched the video that I don't know who right now he was being banned. I don't know why. Is it? Is it? I don't remember who, so I think is is a worst place for Conor McGregor to be. I can tell you that. I mean, right back just shot on Vincent K. McMahon. I think it's a crazy idea, right? You say it's a good place. I mean, you say when I don't think right back want to do that, you know. Yeah, you're crazy. You're pissing this okay big man off, you know. And if we are gonna piss someone off, don't piss 
Mr. Kevin McMahon off, man. And if ever Conor Mega go go to WWE, please, please, please don't go, please. I'm. I mean, it's stupid. I mean, if you are going there, you no, know, and then this Roman Reigns come out, you know. You have to lose to Roman Reigns, and you have to let Roman Reigns to look strong. You know, it would be stupid. I mean, Conor McGregor was so will be so pissed at Vince K. McMahon that he will be you no. Know, why? Why have you lose? Why have I to lose to Roman Reigns? Is who's him? I don't even know who's Roman Reigns. You know, this guy, this guy cannot even punch people. Properly. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. So see you guys. Tell me what you think that Conor McGregor will on will not go to WWE. And see you guys in the next episode of What Do You Think? I will call you this series. What do I think? So yeah. Thank you.